there are many ways to build a good family-oriented SUV. You can base it on a passenger car and make it really comfortable. Or you can make it as rugged as an SUV can be. If you're leaning toward the latter, then the choice is much easier for you. Because there aren't many genuine body-on-frame SUVs left on the market. But only if you live in Europe or North America, in Australia and Southeast Asia. Things that still matter the most are reliability, durability, endurance, and overall toughness. And drivers are so happy that they still have a pretty wide choice. And within this broad range, one of the models that really stands out is the Toyota Fortuner. With the design that's based on one of the toughest vehicles in the world, the Hilux, it is equally rugged. At the same time, it brings that extra dose of flexibility with the third row of seats and a quite generous cargo area. And now, the new 2024 Toyota Fortuner brings a nice portion of upgrades, which will keep it fresh and competitive against the rivals that have improved a lot with the recent updates. The current generation of Toyota's SUV may look rugged and competitive, but it's not exactly a spring chicken. It's been around since 2015, and now when the key rival, Ford Everest, has just been redesigned, and the next generation Pajero Sport is on the way, it's quite obvious that it needs updates to remain relevant. As the full redesign will have to wait for another year or two, Toyota decided to bring a couple of subtle but quite important upgrades, so let's take a quick look at some of them. When you look at the 2024 model, the styling looks kind of familiar and doesn't indicate changes at all. But upgrades come under the skin, especially in terms of the suspension setup. Of course, the base setup is still there with a double wishbone at the front and a five-link suspension on the rear end. But the components are a little bit different. Base models now come with upgraded monotube dampers that bring improvements both in terms of comfort and handling. The luxury-oriented Legender trim, which is also known as LTD in certain markets, gets special shock absorbers and springs to increase the level of comfort even more. No matter which version of the Fortuner you pick, it feels quite easy to drive. Despite the high ground clearance and fully framed chassis, it doesn't lean too much in corners, while the rack and pinion steering feels relatively precise and offers a decent amount of feedback from the road. The Fortuner is maneuverable and easy to drive, and all that is complemented by quite good braking performance thanks to the ventilated disc brakes on all four wheels. The current generation was already refreshed once a few years ago, and one of the upgrades was the increased engine output. The same will happen with the 2024 model year, which will, just like the Hilux, get both power and torque increase. Of course, we are talking about the well-known 2.8-liter turbo diesel. The max output of this smooth and refined engine will go up to 165 kilowatt or 221 horsepower, while the max torque will go up to 550 newton meter or 405 pound feet of torque. That's a nice 15 kilowatt or 20 horsepower upgrade, while the additional 50 newton meter of torque will definitely have a highly positive impact on driving dynamics. Just like the previous version of the engine, this version will also come coupled with a six-speed automatic gearbox that may not be the most up-to-date transmission, but it's smooth, durable, and reliable. Moreover, it also helps this SUV achieve quite a respectable 3,100 kilograms of the max towing capacity. And while the 2.8-liter turbo diesel is the main choice in most markets, you can still get a smaller 2.4-liter diesel in some parts of the world. Moreover, the Fortuner is also offered in gasoline versions on a few more markets, with the bulletproof 2.7-liter inline-4 with a max output of 122 kilowatt or 165 horsepower. Despite the family-friendly design, the Fortuner is still a genuine body-on-frame vehicle, which means it has a lot of potential to perform on the hardest terrains around. It features quite decent 216 millimeters of ground clearance and can be equipped with a couple of quintessential pieces of off-road hardware. The most basic versions come with rear-wheel drive, but you can opt for a full-time four-wheel drive with low-range gearing, differential lock, hill descent control, and many more. When it comes to key measurements, the Fortuner is pretty much on par with its rivals. It offers 29 degrees of the approach angle and 25 degrees of departure angle. 
while 23.5 degrees of the breakover angle are also quite typical for the class. Without a snorkel, the Fortuner features a wading depth of 700 millimeters. Toyota Fortuner is where rugged nature meets comfort-oriented interior. Even though it hasn't been updated for a while, the current cabin design still looks quite nice, so we don't find any problem with the fact that the 2024 model is about to carry on in the same way. We are about to see the same cabin, which looks nice, even though it puts focus on functionality over aesthetics. The dashboard is quite similar to the Hilux, though you can notice a little bit nicer materials and more attention to detail. What's more important is the driving position, which is very good. With the eight-way power adjustable seat and a quite adjustable steering wheel, everyone can easily find a perfect driving position and enjoy great ergonomics and outward visibility in all directions. The front seats are well-designed and quite spacious, and the same could be said for the second row, which accommodates adults with ease. Of course, there is also the third row, but it isn't particularly generous with space. Simply put, the company didn't want to sacrifice Fortuner's off-road potential by stretching the wheelbase, and therefore, the third row remains pretty tight and serves primarily for small kids. What's not so tight is the cargo area, which offers over 1,000 liters of capacity behind the second row. However, the numbers aren't all that great with all seats in use, as the capacity is under 300 liters in that case. To remain competitive, the 2024 Fortuner will also get a couple of tech updates. Toyota has never been a leader when it comes to things like the infotainment system and other connectivity features. But things like the new 9-inch touchscreen and wireless Apple CarPlay will definitely help it keep up with rivals. Other than that, things will remain rather unchanged, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. The current model is already equipped very well, as you can get tech and convenience features like voice recognition, an 11-speaker audio system, a power-adjustable driver's seat, leather upholstery, navigation, dual-zone climate control, power liftgate with memory, and many more. The Fortuner is a typical Toyota when it comes to safety features, which means that there is a full load of standard and available equipment. Some of the highlights are things like autonomous emergency braking, pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, front and rear parking sensors, pre-collision brake assist, and rear cross-traffic alert. Despite the updates, it's quite easy to conclude that the new generation is about to come pretty soon. The current model has been around since 2015 and it will soon need another set of updates to remain fresh, especially once the next generation Payero Sport arrives. Moreover, it's no secret that the next generation Hilux is under development. Once it arrives, it's just a matter of time before we see its closely related SUV. And although it's still early for details, we can already predict some of the more basic things about the next generation Fortuner. Just like the Hilux, it will switch to Toyota's new TNGAF platform, which means there should be benefits in various aspects. One of them is electrification which indicates that the next generation Fortuner model could easily get the same super capable hybrid powertrain as the Land Cruiser. Moreover, since the new Hilux and its North American sibling, Tacoma, are about to share more parts than ever, the same could happen to the relationship between this SUV and the 4Runner, which is extremely popular in North America and could elevate Fortuner's off-road performance to the next level. Of course, this redesign would also bring completely new exterior and interior designs, more attractive and more luxurious. While the next generation is still a couple of years away from us, the 2024 model is about to come in the next few months. Of course, the exact launch date will depend on the market, but we presume that the new model will first arrive in markets where it is most popular, such as India, Indonesia, Philippines, Australia, etc. Speaking of the Australian market, the current model starts slightly under $54,000 and we don't expect to see bigger changes in the next year. What do you think about the 2024 Fortuner? Are these updates enough to keep it relevant in today's highly competitive market? Is the next generation really going to get electrified? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.